Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna kind of be doing some magnet fishing today. Um, I know I said I wanted to wait till the spring to get those newspaper vending machines out, but I don't know, everybody's been finding newspaper vending machines. Uh, so I'm kind of jealous. So we're gonna go try to get those out today. That's, that's the mission, it's a recovery mission. I'm gonna go, I think I can use a tree. If I can get a solid connection enough to move it, might have to use the hook at some point. I probably will definitely have to use the hook at some point. But if I can get a good solid connection with it and be able to pull it, we can use a tree, I think, and the winch and the rope, and we can pull this thing up the bank. Uh, that's the plan. Anyway, we're going to try it. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to do it. I'm going to make sure I bring some tools with me. A, because if there's money in there, <laughs> I want to try to get it. I want to get that money. But, uh, I mean, I think it's very feasible that somebody took the money and dumped those. That's my theory of why they're there anyway. So it might not have any money, but it would be also interesting to get them open B to see if there's a newspaper in there and I can find the date on when those were thrown in and see how long these things have been in the water. But uh, those both might not happen, but it'll be good to get them out if we can get them out. It'll still be a really cool adventure. So that's what we're going to do today. But before we head out and uh, try our luck with that, I want to do some shout outs and stuff because I haven't done any for a while and uh, there are some people that deserve some. So first on the list, the Magnetic Squatch, you know, uh, shout out to him. He talked about me, I think, in one of his videos and I was like, oh, we got to return that favor. So Magnetic Squatch, go check out his channel. All these will be down in the description below so you can go check him out. He seems pretty cool. He's been teaming up with Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. So, you know, they're doing cool things. They're fine. They found a newspaper vending machine and got it out. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm jealous. I want the, I want the machine. <laughs> but, yeah. So, go check out his channel. He's pretty cool. He's doing awesome things. He's finding cool stuff. Daddy and daughter plus water are finding cool stuff. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Nine Mile Bros. Go check them out, man. They're doing the scuba diving. They're doing the trash cleanup and finding treasure. They seem really awesome. Go check out their channel. Uh, they seem pretty awesome. I, I wanna go die with them. When I get certified, I wanna go die with them. So, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you if we can uh, make that happen. Uh, somebody else to check out is Coastal Casey. She's pretty awesome. We've been messaging a good bit. And she's been asking me questions about YouTube and all kind of stuff. And she just bought a magnet and used my code. So shout out to her. That helps support the channel a little bit if you use my code at uh, Brute Magnetics website. And so she's going to be doing some cool adventures soon with some magnet fishing because the water, uh, just like here, <laughs> is getting too cold. And she's not going to be able to like swim around in the cold winter waters. So she was like, I need to do something. She's like, I'm going to try magnet fishing. Same thought I had. So she just got her magnet, I think, today. So she's going to be doing some videos real soon. Go check her out. She's awesome. I mean, she's got the Instagram, all that. She is, uh, she's out there grinding just like I am. So go show her some love. Tell her the pirate sent you. Tell all the people I mentioned the pirate sent you. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to spread some love real quick because I haven't done it for a while. And uh, yeah, there's, there's awesome people in the community. And I just, want us, I just want us to all be friends and get along. But yeah, with that being said, guys, we are going to hop in the car. We are going to go to uh, the spot behind Coonskin there, and we are going to see if we can get some newspaper vending machines out. Hopefully we can. Hopefully it'll be awesome. Hopefully there's money in there. Hopefully there's newspapers and we can find out when they were thrown in. Should be a good day. Hopefully, if we can get them out. I don't know. I know exactly where they are in the water, but I don't know if the magnet's going to be strong enough to pull them up out of the muck. And, uh, or if I can use the hook or I don't know, we're, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to go make it happen. So let's just get to it. Let's go guys. All right guys. So we are here and I'm trying to assess the situation. I'm sorry for the wind. It's I'm trying not to blow it into the microphone, but, uh, so basically them bad boys are right there by this tree. I have this trunk right here that maybe we can use, or I might just have to back the Jeep up right here and hook the uh, come alongs to my tow hitch and uh, see if we can get it out that way because I don't know. So we're gonna throw from right here 
We're gonna throw way out there. They're just right there. They're only like five feet out. Uh, and I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can pull these things in today. But it is a windy, cold, gray day as compared to last uh, Tuesday. When you saw the video. It was beautiful. It was 82. I was in shorts. It's uh, 47 right now. So <laughs> a pretty good drop, I'd say. But I'm gonna get all my stuff together. We're gonna get out. We're gonna see if we can't get. Uh, some newspaper vending machines today and I brought tools to get inside in case we do get them up so uh, yeah let's get to it Pretty sure I'm hooked to it. So I backed the car up a little bit. We're gonna hook the come alongs. I'm gonna put some loops in the rope and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. Actually, I'm gonna do this the other way around so it's easier to winch. Almost out of slack now. I still don't see anything. Oh. Huh. Holy cow. So I don't know if we moved it or not. Like I said, this would be so much easier if I could get in the water and wrap like a chain around the legs or something. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh no, I've not been recording this entire time. So basically, I got my hook stuck on something. It ain't happening. So we're trying to get it out. But it ain't having it. It's right there. I'm about to have to take my shoes off and get in. I'm not excited about that. Because I don't think I got any other options.
this is not what I envisioned happening today. I envisioned breaking in to a newspaper vending machine that I successfully pulled out of the water. Now I got no vending machine and I'm getting in water to get my hook. Okay, there's a rock there. That's a good solid footing. There's something here. Okay. It's a rock here. You know, actually, uh, once you're in here, at least on the legs, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Whew. All right, guys, so as you can see, no vending machine. Uh, I think I had it hooked a couple times, but it just wasn't coming. I'm not real sure. It might have even been a tree. Uh, I think the only way, the only real way, is maybe if it's nice, the next time I come out, I'll go buy a chain, wrap around those feet. I'll get wet suited, hop in this cold, freezing water. For you, okay? So if I do it, I swear you better make that stuff go viral because. <laughs> That water's cold. Uh, it wasn't too bad once you acclimate to it, but you're still not gonna wanna be in there for very long. So maybe the next day that's kinda decent and I can see pretty good, we will put the wetsuit on, goggle up, get down there, wrap a chain around that bad boy so that we know we definitely have it. Now attach the rope and then we can use the winch and hopefully get it free from the sediment and uh, see if there's any money in it and see maybe if there's some newspaper still left in it, we can figure out what year or month or whenever they were thrown in the water. Cause I think judging from how they look, they've been in there for a few years. So uh, yeah, a mystery left unsolved, but you know, maybe we'll get it next time. We are wiser now. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right guys, so I know today wasn't particularly exciting. We did not get the vending machines out, but if you'd like to see me come back and possibly brave the cold water in a wetsuit and uh, try to hook a chain to these and pull it out, leave a like and comment down below. That always helps. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, the Pirate Fam is growing. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go home because my feet are wet and my pants are wet and like some sketchy people just came down here to use the bathroom in the woods. Uh, which is a part of the charm of this place because sketchy things happen here and sketchy things end up in the water but it's also kind of the uh i don't know about this because <laughs> they just come down here whether you're down here or not and do sketchy things so i'm gonna get in the car it's cold i'm gonna go home i'm hungry a little disappointed but uh you can't win them all uh like i said i know better for next time and i can make a better plan and hopefully get these out so let me know down below for sure if you want to see me hop in this water and try to pull these things out. Remember, go out there, make your own adventure. Life's short, have fun. Peace, y'all.